Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at custom views. Custom views in Excel allows you to set up various scenarios of layouts of your worksheet and save them so you can easily toggle between the multiple views and see the various layouts that you have set up. Let's take a look and see how this works. Here we have a data range of various countries, salespeople, their regions, and sales data. And we're going to set up a couple different views. So first of all, I want to set up this file showing it in the full view. But I'm going to do a couple things. For example, I'm going to click on cell A2, go to View, and set my freeze panes as the first step. I'm also going to hit Control P, and I see that it's set up for 10 pages in portrait orientation. So I'm going to change that to landscape orientation. And I'm also going to set the scaling to fit all columns on one page. So now I'll go back and go to Custom View, click Add, and we're going to call this Full View and say OK. So now I'll select custom views and we'll see we have one view called full view. So I'm going to close that. Next I'm going to go to data, set my filters, and I'm going to set up a view for just USA and I'm also going to hide several columns here. And just so I have the country, dollars, and total and I'm also going to hide discount. I'm going to hit control P and I'm going to change this back to portrait orientation. I'm going to go back to no scaling and now you see I have it in two pages. But also notice that my header disappears when I go to the second page. So I'm going to go back to the page layout view, print titles, and select row 1 for rows to repeat at top. I'll say OK, go back to Control P, and now when I toggle through the two pages, the header is visible on both pages. So now I'm going to go to View, Custom View, Add, and I'm going to call this one USA Summary. I'll say OK. So now I go to Custom Views, and I have two views. So if I highlight Full View and hit Show, it's going to show it in the full view. And if I hit Control P, you'll see it's set up in the landscape orientation, fit all columns on one page. If I go to Custom Views, select USA Summary, show that, you see it's filtered down the countries to just USA, hidden several of the columns. And I select Control P, and you can see I have no scaling, and it's in portrait orientation. So let's just add one more. I'm going to remove my filter and I'm going to unhide all my columns. And I'm just going to take and highlight just say the first 15 rows of data and go to page layout, print area, and set print area. And I hit control P and I'll want to go to landscape orientation and I'm going to set it to fit on one sheet. I'll go back, go to view, custom view. I'm going to add and I'm just going to call this sample view and say OK. So now if I do custom view, sample view, show that and I hit control P, you'll see it's just showing that small portion of those 15 items in a landscape orientation all fit to print on one page. And that's all there is to custom views. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.